Lights of Hope hosting their annual event raises money for American Cancer Society's Cancer Action Network and it honors those who've been touched by cancer, remembering those that we've lost. In studio this morning, mm -hmm. Stacy Escalante. Uh, Stacy, a cancer survivor, a volunteer, you're very active here in the community. We love having you here in the studio, but this is a big event and and you want to talk about it because I know I, I can see this stuff. <laughs> it makes you very happy to be able I to talk it. about this. This is my passion project. Uh, this, it's very important to me. It's bigger and better than ever. We're back. Uh, I'm going to talk about the event, but yes, first, please. just some context is that um, we are survivors. We are people who have been touched by cancer or we're caregivers. Mm -hmm. And so we take our stories to local, state, and national lawmakers because we want cancer to stay in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Funding, research, more than 17,000 Nevadans will be diagnosed with cancer this year. And so this wow. is near and dear to my heart because it's an actual way where you can feel that you're tr giving a tribute to someone you love. And you know, whether they passed away, my dad died five years ago, okay. so I do a bag for my dad. But in honor of someone who is currently fighting cancer mm -hmm. or survivor like myself or yourself yeah, yeah. and you can yeah. represent that visually and beautifully now the event itself Stacy is tomorrow right it's at Pino's Palette at the district in okay. Henderson love from Pino's Palette yes it's so fun and they donate everything so you go from six to nine okay and it's ten dollars a bag and that goes to you can bring pictures of your loved one stickers we have it's a really fun community event uh -huh. we have um, drinks for sale we have oh, raffle. I know you can have one Wine or beer, and um, everyone comes together and just paints and talks. And then we bring these to Washington, D.C. on September 19th for Lights of Hope Across America. And so then these are displayed throughout the nation's capital. Correct. From all of the states, and we have a Nevada section. Excellent. So I have personally been there. It's beautiful to see Nevada in a sec, and then you can have your loved one there. The Washington Monument is, you know, and we're letting lawmakers know that this is important because yes. so many people are affected. Well, so. because you need the funding, and, and it is. It's a beautiful thing for folks at home. You can remember or yeah. just honor or, or just even be proud of yourself as a survivor. It's such a thrill to see. I mean, it sounds crazy, but it's such a thrill to see that we are represented. Oh, no, so it is on. because yeah. you're strong yeah. and you're beautiful. Yeah. And I love these bags. I mean, this has a dinosaur in a tutu. So you can kind of go any way you want yeah, with the and creativity. You, you do not have to be an artist. I brought my daughter uh -huh. and then she did other people's bags for them because oh. some people are shy. <laughs> well, but, sure. Yeah. So you can bring kids. It's open for kids. Okay. And um, so we we really want families and people to come out, stop in. I love it when people say, oh, I saw it on the news and I decided and to come, come by. So yeah, Pino's so. Palette tomorrow in the district, it is the cost is how much? Well, it's $10 a bag. $10 so a it's bag. it's free to get in, but um, it's a $10 donation because we all go to DC and, oh. and put them up. I mean, I volunteered one year where we just, for hours stood out there and put them along and it's it's gorgeous so okay. yeah. Stacey, thank you yeah, for coming course, on the show you. and and sharing your your story and being so strong for all the survivors out there folks tomorrow it's going to be a great event thanks again for coming in thank you we'll be right back